Hey y'all, Nana here. I hope that everybody's doing well. I hope you're keeping safe and I hope you're keeping healthy. I'm a self, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, but I think I'm coming down with a little cold, y'all. Huh? What a time. What a time to catch cold, but you know what? Tis the season, tis the season. Anyhow, y'all, this morning I had some things to attend to and I was not able to watch the entire I Feel Violated stream that Food to Beauty put out today. I'm watching it right now. I'm watching it right now and I had to pause, y'all. I had to pause to make this video because I'm just like, what? Excuse me, what? I got to get it out because I got some things to say. I've got some things to say, let me tell you, okay? And I'm going to say them. I'm all over the place, but you know what? Whatever. Um, so anyhow, I'm watching this stream, and I think I'm maybe, maybe, maybe 10 minutes in. I don't know, maybe not. And I'm like, are you for real? Are you, today you feel violated. Today you are claiming that these men violated you on their panel. Wow. Well, now I watched that stream. I did. Okay. And I don't know anybody on the, that panel. I don't know them people. Um, that Keemstar, yes, I've seen him on my Twitter feed, but I've never watched any videos or anything like that. And I'm just like, I watched that. What are you talking about? Because you was tickled. You was tickled pink being on that panel and they were talking about you. You were just glowing and just laughing along, you know, just swinging your loose titties everywhere because you weren't wearing a damn bra. I was like, girl, put a bra on, please. But in the stream, she's saying, well, the first question they asked me was if they could see my vagina. And I'm like, what? That, what? That was the first question they asked you? And you stayed on the panel? And I'm going to play the clip, okay, because I don't talk shit without backing up my shit, all right? Because I don't like when people say, like, oh, well, you took that out of context, or that's not what was said. So, yes, fair use. I'm going to use little clips here and there, okay? Um, and I'll play the clip, but it was that Tina woman. That Tina woman said, I got a picture of your queen, bitch. I got pictures of your vagina on the phone. And the host, Keem Star, right? So, time out, time out. Time out, Tina. Tina, stop for a minute. Beauty Beauty, is your box really yep. on the internet? What you mean? What, food tea? There's pictures of your box on the internet? And she gets up, titty swinging and all, right? Because she ain't wearing no bra. Goes and gets Julia and says, yeah, but I recently found God. Yes, because listen, okay, I found God recently. And I'm like, girl. Right then and there, when you said you recently found God, you should have dismissed yourself from the panel. Uh huh. You should have said, look, that was a long time ago. I'm changed. I'm married. I'm Muslim. I'm not going to sit here on this panel and let y'all talk about my private parts. And if that's the way the conversation is going, goodbye, because I'm not going to sit here and disrespect my husband, disrespect his family, our religion, this holy relic that I'm wearing, nor am I going to allow myself to be disrespected as a woman, as a married Muslim woman, but as a woman. Good night. Click, I'm gone. But you didn't. You didn't do that. And now you're saying, you know what? I'm caught up in the moment. No, you were hamming it up. You were loving it. Titties flapping in the wind. You was laughing. You was carrying on. You were the back and forth. I mean, you even told that teen woman, well, let's see your vagina. I ain't let's see yours. First of all, bitch, I've never had to spread for bread. You even offered up some sexual favors if anyone could prove that you weren't a doxer. Where's the dox? Show me and I will bow down to you and suck your dick. <laughs> I mean, I can go on and on. I can go on and on. We all seen it. We all seen it, right? Um, but today, you want to cry victim? Today, you want to say that you've been violated in the worst way? That you feel violated? <laughs> you feel so violated. Why? Why do you allow yourself to be violated this way? Because, well, because you don't have no self-love. You don't have no self-love. You've never stood up for yourself. You've never been your biggest cheerleader. You've never been your biggest cheerleader, and that's why you allow people to violate you over and over. Excuse me. Excuse me. This coming from the woman who sits there on the daily saying, oh, all my haters, they're uglier than me. They're fatter than me. They're losers. They have no life. They're just jealous of me. They're zombies and all the other shit you say. 
But today you want sympathy? Sympathy because you're violated because you don't love yourself enough. Please, please. Look, I could go on and on. We all saw the stream. I got things to say about that, but I ain't got the time. I ain't got the time, okay? Let's get to the part that um really got under my skin that had me pause and make the video. There might be more videos, okay? I ain't got the time right now. I ain't got the time. But, but let's play the part. We'll talk about it. And honestly, it is it is gross for men to treat women that way, especially a woman wearing a hijab. I agree. I agree. It's gross for men to treat women like that. But you know what's really gross? You know what's really gross? Is a woman sitting there in a hijab getting stoned off her ass. What's really gross is a woman sitting there in a hijab saying the mean, nasty, vile things that you say to creators, to reactors. You know what's gross is a woman sitting in a hijab sexualizing the food that she's eating. You know what's gross? A woman in a hijab going on a panel like this knowing damn well what the show is all about. You know what's gross? What's really gross is a woman sitting there in a hijab making a complete mockery out of the religion she claims to represent. That is what's truly gross and disgusting in my opinion. Since we're on the topic of men being gross towards women, what about your man? Hmm? What about his behavior towards Kybella? That was pretty gross. Uh huh. He wanted to violate her. He wanted to shit on her. He wanted to sexually assault her. He wanted to violate her, but not only violate her, he wanted to violate her and her cross and the Bible. Now, the cross and the Bible are holy relics, uh -huh, just like your hijab. But that's okay, right? Because you excuse that. Uh -huh. There's obviously some things that, you know, sometimes men have these like fantasies, even women too, but, you know, especially coming from repressed culture, like sexually and stuff like that. Um, that's why you see a lot of maybe religious themed things in there, but um, it's all for play, you know, and as long as you're not hurting anybody in real life, I don't see the harm. He didn't have a problem with it. It's just a kinky fetish. He didn't mean it. The man had the thoughts in his head. Who thinks like that? For real? Who thinks like that? But it was okay, right? Because you okayed it. You okayed it. But this time, it's different, right? It's different because it's you, because you're, you're a shabby woman, you're a Muslim woman, and they violated you. But it was okay when your man violated Kybella because she was asking for it, right? Mm-hmm. But I got one more question question before I sign off because I'm running out of time here. Um, when your man's wee-wee picture was being floated around, you were coming at people and saying that you was going to press uh, charges. You were going to take it legal. You didn't slaw himself. We're, we're going to, you know, call the cops. We're going to report this. Are you going to these people with the same energy for passing around your naughty pic? Are you? I think not. I think not. We know it's all for show. It's all for show. You're screaming violated, violations uh, to get attention. You're getting the attention, but it's the wrong attention, and it's not positive attention, and you ain't getting sympathy. You ain't getting no sympathy for me. You knew what you was getting into. You sure did, and you were playing along. And what happened? Salah found out all about it, and all hell broke loose. So, why don't you get yourself a pair? Anyhow, that's all I got to say about that. I have more to say, I'm sure. Anyhow, y'all take care, and I'll see you real soon.